Hello aviators and welcome to another episode of 5x5 from Bose Aviation. My name is Chris Palmer from angleofattack.com and I'm a master CFI and educator based in Homer, Alaska. In this 5x5 series we're bringing you tips, tricks, and techniques for effective and safe radio communications. On this episode, the topic is VFR flight following. As you traverse and navigate the big open expanse that is the sky, it sure is nice to have some help sometimes, or at least an extra pair of eyes in the sky. And that's exactly what VFR flight following does for you. VFR flight following is an ATC radar service. Once in radar contact and on flight following, ATC will give you certain significant weather warnings, traffic warnings that may include aircraft not using ADSB and even give you suggestions and resolutions on those topics. They'll even pass you off from one frequency to the next as you traverse different areas. On top of that, you have someone to talk to immediately in case of emergency, and because they have radar contact, they can help vector you to the nearest airport or give location information to other authorities that can help, like local emergency services or search and rescue. So that's pretty cool, right? Let's break down a sample radio call that could get you on VFR flight following and see what to say, what you'll hear, and what that means behind the scenes at each step. First, read the room. If it's way busy on the frequency and no one can get a word in edgewise, maybe it's better to get outside of the city first before asking. This service is voluntary by ATC and they may be too busy with other more important traffic like IFR traffic. Nine times out of 10 though, they'll do it, but if it's just too crazy busy, they'll say unable flight following. If you're good to go there and there's plenty of room, keeping in mind that ATC can handle more than you think they can, it's time for a cold call. So call them by name, identify your full call sign and say VFR request. Something like Salt Lake Center, Skyhawk November 2423 in a form, VFR request. Next, ATC is going to come back and tell you if they can handle you or not because they already know what's coming next. November 2423 Uniform Salt Lake Center, go ahead with VFR request. You've now established two-way communication. Now it's time to establish radar contact and so you'll go through that process. Tell them what you want, VFR flight following, where you are now and where you're going. Something like Salt Lake 23 Uniform, 20 miles northwest Pocatello VOR, request VFR flight following to Boise. ATC will come back and give you a squat code. They need to get you on their radar with a unique code. 23 Uniform Squawk 1340. And you repeat it back now after you've punched it in and squawked IDENT. Squawk 134023 Uniform. It'll take a few moments for you to pop up on their screen and they may even move onto some other radio calls in the meantime because obviously they are moving around other traffic but eventually they'll come back and radar identify you. This next part is important and often unknown by pilots. They're going to say, November 2423 Uniform Radar Contact, 23 miles north northwest of Pocatello VOR or something like that. But you're not done yet. The cool thing is you're now in radar contact. They have you on the screen, they see you, but you need to make sure that the position they tell you is correct and it checks out. This helps to make sure they don't misidentify you with another aircraft, which of course would be a major issue. So now that you're in radar contact, you'll call back and say, Salt Lake Center 2423 Uniform, position checks. This means that the position is correct and they have identified the correct aircraft in the correct location. Welcome to flight following. From here, you can expect services as able by ATC. They aren't required to do any of this like they are with IFR traffic, for example you're still in charge of seeing and avoiding traffic, navigating and staying clear of weather, and remaining VFR rather than IFR, of course. But now, they're a pair of eyes in the sky, and even with all of this ADSB traffic we're seeing nowadays, there are still targets that ATC sees and you don't. I think you'll really enjoy this service from them. It's just another tool you can use from your toolbox full of aviation communication knowledge. And if you're not already convinced that flight following is awesome and you should use it, get this. If you're going to be working on your instrument and at some point plan on getting more comfortable with ATC, which instrument gets more complicated with communications, these are the exact controllers you'll be working with in IFR. In fact, 
a lot of the handoffs and communications you do on flight following are exactly the same as IFR comms. It's major IFR practice. You'll even hear other aircraft out there in the IFR system. It'll help you understand what's going on. We hope you enjoyed this episode of 5x5. Consider sharing with a pilot friend who could learn as well. Also, don't miss the next episode by following and subscribing to both Bose Aviation and Angle of Attack. Once again, I'm Chris Palmer from angleofattack.com. It's been a pleasure teaching you today. Fly safe, and until next time, throttle on.